All right, you know what that sound means? It's about that time to get you out of the door with your GMJ on the go. We continue to follow the latest on that overturned cargo ship out in the St. Simon Sound. And it, good to report, all 24 crew members have been rescued, including those final four who have been stuck in the ship's hull. Let's head out to Lana Harris, who has the latest on the story now. Good morning, I'm Lana Harris here in St. Simons Island, where the community is looking forward now after the last four men that were trapped on this capsized cargo ship have been rescued. Now, crews will now need to figure out how to get this 71,000 ton ship out of the water, and investigators still don't know what went wrong and caused it to tip in the first place. So they'll be looking into that. Meanwhile, ships are still waiting the chance to get back into the port here in Brunswick, one of the largest ports in the south, because this is going on the third day it's been closed. So stay with us. We will update you as these developments unfold. But for now, here in St. Simons Island, I'm Lana Harris. First Coast News on your side. Well, the death toll from Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas continues to rise. Now at least 50 deaths have been confirmed. Thousands of people are still missing. Rescue workers now going door to door to deliver food and supplies, and the U.S. Coast Guard is still evacuating critically injured people by helicopter. Many of you have been asking us how you can help those families in need. Right now on our homepage at firstcoastnews.com, we have a list of places that are collecting donations. Again, that's firstcoastnews.com. Well, three employees with the Duval County Public School System, they're now suspended without pay. According to the Times Union, Jamal Collins is a teacher at Fort Caroline Middle School. Elder Allen, he's a paraprofessional at Arlington Middle School. And Melanie Clemens is a data entry clerk at Carter G. Woodson Elementary. All three were cited for, quote, unprofessional conduct. Okay, 655. Let's get a last check of our weather and our traffic as we head out the door because it is getting busy out there. Ooh. Mike, we'll start with you. Yes, hey, well, we got that sunrise 706, so all eyes east should be a beautiful, it's already a beautiful day. We've got the fresh breezes back in the forecast this afternoon. High of 91, a lot better than those triple digits. As we look at the rest of the week, how about just some 80s for highs and getting ready for some needed rain, especially Friday and Saturday. And if you are trying to travel across the Dames Point Bridge, it is slow northbound and southbound because of wrecks on both sides. Like we were joking about earlier, you can try and ford the river like it's Oregon Trail, or you could take I-95 or the St. John's River Ferry. A mess. My goodness. All right, we'll keep updating every half hour. 656 your time. Keitha, for $1,000, a Jaguars advanced analytics developer who appeared on Jeopardy last night. Uh, Mike says Victor Lee. Victor Lee. And that is correct. All right. <laughs> So shout out to our local Jeopardy contestant. He didn't win though. But hey, oh, what? Shout out to you. Good job. Job. We made it there. We're proud of him. <laughs>